Hi, this is Greg Harding from Greg Harding Photography. Thanks for joining me once again on the video blog. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, one of the images that I've shot in the past and uh, we're going to do a little bit of breakdown on it, how the, how the image came about and some of my thoughts behind it. So um, today we're going to be looking at an image that I produced, uh, an automotive image I produced uh, a little while back up on the Derbyshire Dales and it's off of a Vauxhall Corsa, you'll probably see it up here somewhere. Um, and this image is a very um, low perspective image, uh, it's shot with a wide angle um, uh, lens and so you get the, the, the feel of the car travelling along at great speed along a, um, you know, one of the, the windy roads that is out on the Derbyshire Dales. Um, in the background you can see some of the nice hills there and um, the image was uh, taken um, for actually a friend of mine who owns this car and he um, he said you know, let's go out and take some shots um, and I've got uh, a car rig that I use on my other automotive work and we set this up across the top of his bonnet um, there's big um, suckers that go on the bonnet and then there's a big pole, a big boom pole that um, extends out from the bonnet across and then out in front of the car and so you don't actually have to be travelling at great speed in order to get this type of effect and the, um, the photo demonstrates that it's or looks like it's going particularly fast along this road but actually we're not doing much more than five mile an hour because um, the camera that's suspended underneath the boom, and I'll show you some of the photos, the back photos from this, um, is actually on a very slow shutter speed. And because the, the boom is at a fixed uh, point away from the car, you can, um, you can focus on the car, uh, and, it, and that point away from the car never changes. And so you can really slow the shutter speed down, uh, the car only has to travel a little bit to make the background look like it's blurring out and going fast. So um, that's a little bit of the backstory behind it. We had some good fun um, doing some post-production to it, which I can probably show you in a, a future blog. Um, but yeah, that's how it came about and it was very successful. So uh, thanks very much for joining us. If you've got any questions about car photography or about automotive work or, or even about this image and how you could achieve it, then um, you know, post your comments below and uh, I'll hope to see you next time on the blog. Thanks very much.